Hello there and welcome back. Well, some of you, or many of you may know by now that a couple of days ago, one of the most popular Linux-based distributions on the planet, uh, well, their website was hacked. If you do a search for Linux Mint, it's all over the place. Apparently the website was hit by a piece of malware, a backdoor. Uh, I won't go into all the technicalities of a back door, but basically what happened is someone was able to bypass security, whatever security was in place at the Linux Mint website, and gain uh, access, uh, unauthorized malicious access to the Linux Mint website. And I guess a lot of the, uh, specifically the Cinnamon ISOs were compromised. When I first got the story, read about this, it was, it was, well, it was kind of funny at first. I have to admit, as a Windows user, and the reason why I kind of laughed at first is because the amount of malware in Windows uh, compared to Linux. In Linux, the amount of malware is minuscule compared to what you have in Windows. There was a story last week of a hospital out west had to pay a ransom of $17,000 because of ransomware to get their computers back. Uh, I guess they didn't have any backup. So once again, the amount of malware in Linux compared to Windows is very, very tiny. However, however, that being said, it doesn't make it any less serious. This was a serious breach of security um, for Linux Mint. And I think what happened here, and this is just my Windows brain talking as, as a dual booter, this is probably more a an error, a mistake of of, of human decisions versus anything uh, specifically wrong with the technology behind Linux itself. As far as Linux uh, desktops go, the Linux uh, based distributions I think are inherently safer than Windows in general. However, the, this happened and it's not a good day or a good week for Linux Mint. I know I should laugh, but you know, once again, when I think of malware, I think usually of, of Windows and not Linux. But I, I, I suppose this is a good lesson. Uh, nothing is 100% safe. So, you know, make sure you back up everything. But that being said, the point of this video, I came across a couple of articles. I should have saved them. But I guess there are some articles going around the web where Linux Mint... Uh, never was, is, and never will be safe to use as opposed to, say, other uh, distributions. Uh, certainly not a good week for the team at Linux Mint. I personally have no doubt that the website will be up as soon as possible and it will be infinitely more secure than it was before. So I guess if you downloaded any uh, ISO, Cinnamon ISOs that day on the t February 20th, I guess you should uh, delete them if you have installed them on your hard drive, erase it and reformat the hard drive and maybe wait or install a different type of Linux distribution. But what do you guys think? Is Linux Mint inherently insecure and will you no longer trust uh, Linux Mint in the future for any uh, of your Linux desktops. Um, I'm not there, at least not yet. I think here's a good article here. Lesson from Linux Mint breach trust is not enough. Um, there's an article here. Hacker explains how he put a back door. That 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 should be interesting read there. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. So, do you think Linux Mint is done? Or do you think that the team of Linux at Linux Mint will bounce back and uh, be better than it was uh, before? So once again, if you had um, information on the forums, they recommend that you uh, change your passwords immediately at the very least. And uh, if you have any uh, Cinnamon ISOs downloaded and not installed, delete them. And one last thing, always check the MD5s for any corruption in the download. MD5s by themselves are not 100% uh, hacker proof, you know, because I guess there are ways to even, uh, you know, cheat the ISOs or cheat the MD5s, as it were. MD5s can also be compromised. It's certainly a possibility, but uh, I always check the MD5s as a precaution uh, before I install any 
uh, Linux Mint or any Linux uh, ISO for that matter. So anyway, what do you guys think? Is this the end of Linux Mint and can it be trusted? Uh, I don't think so, but let me know what you guys think. Certainly unwanted big news for the team at Linux Mint.